This is intended to be a short comparison between natural selection and genetic engineering. So natural selection here, we have our two moths, and genetic engineering, we're modifying the genes of an organism. So start off here, natural selection, over time selecting for one particular trait, typically based on the phenotype. So here we have the birds eating the green bugs here that stand out against the brown tree. The brown bugs are able to survive, and they're the ones that are going to pass on the genes there. And they're more likely to survive through the process of natural selection. They're naturally being selected for. Another example here, uh, pretty complex, but over time selecting for one particular trait, again, typically based on phenotype. Modern corn uh, comes from something called teosintate. Teosintate here we see compared to a quarter uh, as a corn plant but it is a highly branched corn plant that produces these very small, almost single in a, in a row seed ears. Through the process of natural selection, people have cultivated corn to grow one main central stalk and to produce large ears of corn. You can see here the comparison of our modern corn versus our teosintate, the ancestor of corn. This was through cultivation and through being able to feed people and being more efficient at food production, uh, the modern corn essentially was developed. We've then gone to the next step and genetically engineered it, but just the corn in general that we're genetically modifying is the result of many, many generations of natural selection. Specifically, genetic engineering, it's a deliberate modification of an organism by manipulating the genetic material based on the genotype of an organism. So since all the genes in DNA is a, you know, a universal code, we're able to take those genes and modify them. Here, we're taking the genes for a red pigment. pigment. We can make bacteria, bananas, clovers, and frogs all red uh, by simply inserting the red pigment gene. Here's the mice with glowing eyes. Uh, we're genetically modifying those particular mice. If you want to see what one looks like um, kind of in real life, we have a green glowing mouse, a YouTube video link provided here. Hopefully this clarifies a little bit about natural selection versus genetic engineering and what each individually does.